Welcome again, friends, to another Psalm devotional. Uh, it's just these great songs for saints uh, that we can sing and we can pray and we can really get into as they help us to navigate our lives and our world. Today, we're going to be looking at Psalm 12. The words of the Lord are flawless, it says. Do you ever look around uh, you look around your world, society, watch the TV news perhaps, and, and think to yourself, the world has gone mad. And with it, it's gone bad. And well, in this psalm, David is feeling just that. Let's listen to Psalm 12, and I'm reading from the New International Version. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips, but harbour deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail, or our own lips will defend us, who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who freely strut about when what is vile is honoured by the human race. So what sense are we to make of our world? What sense are we to make of what is going on right now at this moment in our world? We look around, we see corruption in, in high places, corruption amongst the powerful, perhaps in business or in politics or some other arena. We see injustice that is unresolved for poor, vulnerable, marginalised people right across our world. We see we see arrogance in leaders and amongst the rich and the powerful. We see deceit that is practiced by, well, anyone who feels they can get away with it. And we see such violence against vulnerable people, against uh, children, young people, against women and, and so on. Where can we look? To whom may we look? Where will we find any help? David says in this psalm, we look to God. And we look to his word. He starts off with words of a really great prayer. Help, Lord. First one, help, Lord. There's, there's no one faithful anymore. Help, Lord. I, don't let me become like them. I don't want to go down this road. Is that your prayer? I know it's mine. I don't want to go down the road that so much of this world is going down. So, Lord, help me. But he also says, act, Lord. In verse 3, he says, may the Lord silence all flattering lips. Help, Lord, and act, Lord, in our world. Act in our society. Act against those who, 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 are, who are damaging the poor and, and the vulnerable, those who are corrupting uh, others. Help, Lord. Act, Lord. And speak, Lord. In verse 6, the words of the Lord are flawless. Speak, Lord. Address these wrongs, yes, but speak into my heart. Speak your perfect word. Speak your purifying word. Speak your precious word into my heart, into my life, into our hearts and our lives right now. You see, it was into this world, this world and for this type of world that Jesus came. Let me read what he said and what he read from the scriptures in Luke chapter 4. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he's anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. The era of grace is upon us because Jesus is here. He comes to right all wrongs, all wrongs. He doesn't just come to put you and me right. He comes to put us right, that we might live right, that we might display what it means to live right, and therefore we might change others. And as we change others, we change 
families, we change communities, we change society. It will be changed by God's people living faithfully and living right before him. Look to him. Look to Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, as the old song says. When the world goes madder, turn your eyes upon Jesus. When the world just seems to get worse, when corruption gets worse, when evil becomes worse, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Not in denial, but looking to him. him. Looking to him to help, to act and to speak. Look to the Saviour when all around you is darkness.